So, let's say, uh, pag draft sa man, A3 size, 450, 500 pesos per sheet, tapos yung cover page, 800. Tapos, kung tracing paper, mas mahal. Ito, hassle to eh, kasi you have to print sa tracing paper pa, i-blueprint mo pa. E di sayang yung gastos mo. Kasi lum dumami na yung contents ng A1, tapos yung printing mo pa, 100 pesos. Municipalities, uh, required pa rin yung A1. Pero sa National Building Code, A3 ang smallest size. Hindi updated yung, hindi ko alam, puro municipal engineer kasi yung nandun eh. Hindi nila binabasa yung building code. Anyways, let's say A, A2 is, uh, sabi natin bungalow to ah. Floor plan. O, oh, kasha na yung one floor plan and roof plans. Elevations na to. Ito, sections. Tapos, A5, door and window. Schedule. So, meron ka ng 5 sheets. Magkana na yung architectural mo? 2,800. Yan, per sheet. And then, next is structural. Ito namang structural. Yung details natin, kadalasan, copy-paste lang to, no? So, like, the only thing we draft are the foundation plans. The roof. Tapos, siguro dito yung process and other details na kailangan yung drawing. Tapos, ito, yung mga structural details, pinaka-copy-paste lang natin. Pinapalitan lang natin yung sizes. Tapos, siguro, two, oh, three pages lang. Ay, eight, eight, three size pala to. So, sabi natin, four pages. So, 500 pesos ulit. Structural, page two. Structural details, two. Yeah. Cross, stair, ayan. So, how much is our structural na? 500 times 4, 2,000 pesos. And then, now, we have our, ito, electrical. Uh, plan ulit. Plan and roof. Tapos, anong second page ng electrical? Uh, depends pa sa'yo. Minsan, other people combine power and lighting na edi lugi kasi one page lang o sabi na natin na uh, separate to lighting up e1 500 pesos light tapos next page power tapos next page details tapos notes o di 2000 rin tapos ganun rin sa plumbing so, how much all in all? 2,000 times 6, ay, 2,000 times 3, 6,000 plus 2,800. 8,800 just for the blueprints. E di lugi ka kasi magto-3D model ka pa. Okay. Hindi ka binaya. <laughs> so, a draftsman can charge for this. Kahit hindi siya architect kasi drafting to eh. This is water and sewer line. Ayun. Also, ang minimum na natin for one story is 8,800 for blueprint na yan. Wala pang sign and seal. Kaya, uh, ang daming nalulugi kasi yung A1 nila may 3D model, may SDP, tsaka may vicinity. Tapos yan, per sheet pa rin yung singil nila. Oh, perspective vicinity, and then SDP, which is a bit hard to do. Unless, talagang drafted lang, hindi siya 3D. 2D lang siya. Hmm. Sa blueprint, accepted naman yung, yung SketchUp model. Kunwari, yung nakaganyan lang. Kahit hindi siya rendered. Kahit ganyan lang, accepted pa rin siya. But the problem is, wala ka ng visualization sa client. So, ang suggestion ko is, itong blueprint, separate usapan yan dapat. Huwag mo nang isama dun sa... Bahala ka if you think pwede mong ipackage lahat. Depende na sa usapan yun ni owner. But what I do, I separate blueprint from design. 
So, mauna yung architectural visualization. Visualization. Yan. Anong included dun sa visualization? Ito, magbavary naman siya kung ano yung gusto ng client. For example, oh, first is uh, site visits proje uh, project requirements site visit. Yun, papabayad na ako ng down payment dyan for site visit kasi pamasahin mo, pagkain mo. And then, second, pag, pag okay na, if they really chose you, then you can go to the floor plan and perspective schemes. Uh, two schemes. And then, one final. Two revisions. So, ito yung ino-offer ng madaming architect. Hanggang dito lang. They Kasi floor plan, tapos yung perspective nila, harap lang, tapos pwede na mag-blueprint. But, uh, kulang, siya yung, kulang siya sa visualization, di ba? So, what we offer sometimes is interior as well. Yan, magkano naman yan? Is it per area ba? Per photo? Per scene? Okay, so ang draftsman, kung naging perspective sila, they can charge per photo as low as 500 to as high as 4,000. Because, ang gamit nila dati is 3D Max and V-Ray, which takes days. Oo, oh, oh, because ang basehan nila nito is yung per hour nila or per day. Uh -oh. So, kung per day, how much do you rate yourself? Is it 350 pesos minimum wage or 800 per day? That will depend na on your confidence. Uh, tiwala mo sa sarili mo, sa skill mo. You cannot copy it from others eh. So, ako dati, yung interior per photo, I wanted to charge 2,500. Pero, ang software ko is Lumion dati and then Enscape. So, sabi ko, I can I can give him four photos, basta one scene lang yun, di ba? Oh, so, parang malulugi siya masyado, and I will have competition, 2,000, tapos isang picture lang. Anong gagawin ng client sa picture na yan? Titignan niya lang, Walang, wala pang detail. Yan. So, this one uh, is more of exteriors pala. Exteriors can also range usually to 1, 500 to 2,5. Kasama ang 3D modeling. Yan. So, etong floor plan, when when we give it to them, we do not show the dimensions kasi baka nakawin ng ibang contractor. Hmm, layout lang. So, how much do you charge for the floor plan for a bungalow? Hindi natin alam kasi hindi natin alam kung ilang square meter. Pero, Ang sagot dun is ito. That's why you have to get the project requirements first. Which is the lot title. Dun kasi makukuha yung lot size. Tsaka yung zoning. Yun. Tama. So example, ang lot mo is 100 square meters. Alam mo na yung maximum building footprint mo. So you already can assume na ito yung maximum mo is your floor area. Sabi natin 80%, uh, let's say 80% or 80 square meter yung maximum na floor area. We can base it na dito. Kahit wala pa siyang square meter, pwede na natin i-base o oh, 80 square meters yung maximum. Sige, ano kaya ang rate natin for 80 square meters for a floor plan? Eh, yun yung medyo delikado kasi sa floor plan eh. Mamaya basement lang siya na open, tapos ang mahal-mahal. Or mamaya, oh, so let's say 80 square meters times, let's say 10 pesos per square meter. Oh, 800 pesos for one floor plan. May mga draftsman na nagsisingin lang ganyan kaliit. Let's say your rate is 80 square meters times 25. Yan, sabi natin 2,000 pesos for the floor plan. Yan, maximum floor area. So, kahit lumiit yung floor area nila, 2,000 pa rin ang singil mo. Bunga low to. Oh. So, 
hindi nila alam. They're, they're, they're ignorant eh. Pinakage lang nila lahat. Kaya, that's why, dun sa attorney, yung three story, okay lang, 135, kasi, big time sila eh. Attorney and doctor. Tapos, ang daming, ang daming visualization na, na provide ko. Even the steel tech computation. Pero itong isa, like sila Kudli, two story lang, o ta- parang 100 square lang, tapos 135 pa rin ang singil. Hindi ba madaya? Like, you can charge 13k lang for everything. Why will you charge 135? Yun yung hindi alam ni real estate, kasi they are not architects. So, eto, let's say, uh, kunwari, exteriors mo is 2.5 kasama ng 3D modeling dyan. Also, singil mo is 4,500. That's one floor lang and one perspective. Better because pag sinabi kasi nating percentage, wala pa tayong area eh. Uh, yung iba, ganto na, 80 square meter, tinatimes na nila ng magkano? 25,000. Okay, let's try to do that. Oh. Okay, others charge 30,000. So, base lang dito sa maximum floor area, they assume that the building cost is 30,000. Which is a big no-no to me. Sa akin lang ah. And sa actual. Because what is included in the 30,000? Yung buong estimates mo ba? Or yung house materials and labor lang? Diba? Usually, ang sinasabi nila sa mga infographics is bahay lang yun. Or other people, they say, oh, kasama na lahat, pati yung site, pati yung profit ko, andyan. So, ang building cost niya is 2.4 million. Ayun. Now, kukunin niya yung ilang percent? 3%. Per- 3%. So, ang singil niya is 72,000 for a bungalow house. So, one story lang to. 72 na yung singil niya. At ano ang included dito sa 72? Design lang ba? Building permit rin? Or, parang napaka vague, di ba? What is included? Uh, ano, ano yung sinabi ng friend mo? Ano yung kasama sa design fee? Blueprint and sign and seal? Uh, okay. So, usually kasi when they say design fee, di ba, may breakdown ulit yun sa SPP. Uh, so, sige, assume na natin ang tinutukoy niya is yung architectural visualization tsaka yung blueprint. Tapos, sign and seal nito. Okay. Yan yung basihan niya, 72K. The thing is, if it were my own house, I could process this 80 square meter bungalow For only 25,000, why will I get you then who is charging 72K? O, ang singil sa akin ng electrical engineer and yung plumbing is 3,000. Kasama na yun, 1515. Sign and seal. O, ang singil sa akin ni structural, 3,000 rin. O, 6,000. Ang singil sa akin ni architect for this one, sabi natin, 6,000 ulit. O, so, 12,000 na yung gastos ko. Plus, yung visualization niya, which is 4,500, hindi ako umabot ng 72. Mga 20 lang. So, why will I charge 72,000 for a bungalow na 80 square meter? Ang lot niya is 100. Masyadong mahal. That's why I always say, do not ever go per square meter. Ang, ang percentage and square meter, ginagawa lang nila yung mga experienced contractors kasi meron na silang standard style na ginagawa and kadalasan ina-average lang nila yung mga projects nila na kukunin nila yung cost magkano yung nagastos nila ay, adugayam nagastos ko 2.4 million isong uh, 3% basta 3% yung lumabas kaya ganun kataas yung singil ko kasi, kasi they were not planning well eh kasi puro sila over budget kasi sinasabi nila, 30,000 per square. Ganon ang labas nun. Because, uh, those who do not have the project experiences, 
cannot charge per square kasi they do not have the idea yet sa design. Oh, wala pa tayo sa design pero alam na natin hindi na hindi natin pwedeng i pressure yung building. So, instead of doing that, what we do, now we have our maximum floor area. Ang i-price muna natin hindi yung building. I-price muna natin etong visualization. Magkano ang floor plan, magkano ang exterior sa bungalow na 100 square meter yung lot. Also, let's say 80 square meter ang lumabas is 4,500 pesos. Now we can charge 4,500 divided by 80 is 56 pesos per square meter. Doon na lumalabas ang per square meter kasi meron ka ng idea kung ano yung costing mo. Oh. Plus, may dalawang scheme pa. So, assume natin 4,000 ito para hindi ka naman lugi. Tapos, exterior times 2 din natin. Ayan, 5,000. So, uh, client para sa bungalow house na floor plan exterior with two schemes, 9,000 ang singil ko. Design pa lang yun. Walang bl blueprint. Ganun. So, ilan ang per square meter pag? 9,000. 112. So, uh, divided by 80. Okay. Uh, kung kukunin natin ng 100 pesos per square, 8,000 odd. Pag 112 times 80, oh, halos 9,000. Kasi most likely, you will give them a discount. Eh. Okay? Uh, so, sabihin natin, ang rate mo, architect, because of this, ang rate mo sa sarili mo is 102.5 pesos per square meter. Okay, assume na natin na uh, two-story yan. Two-story yan, pero 80 square meters pa rin. So, ang labas mo pa rin is 9,000. Because the floor area is the same eh. Right? Bungalo man yan, or two-story house. Okay. So, yung bungalaw na to is 80 square meters. Let's say, ang two-story house na to is big 40. So, 80 square meters pa rin. Yan. Papayag ka ba na parehas lang ang singil mo dito na 9,000? Pati sa two-story, 9,000? Just for visualization. Siyempre, mas mahal dapat to kasi two stories, di ba? Ang facade mo is hindi pa horizontal. Iba na naman yung, oo, iba na naman yung challenge dyan. Kaya, that's what you can rate yourself na, na, okay, uh, do you want to rate it per floor or per floor area? Yan kasi ang delikado pag we always do per square meter. Square meter kasi is floor area eh. Another problem pa. Paano kung itong bungalaw na to is 80 square meters, pero sloping siyang pa ganun? Or di may stilts ka pa? Diba? So, how much will you charge for that? Let's say also this two-story two house, 80 square, pero flat naman. E di magiging mas mahal to. So, we cannot really do the per floor. Pero, ang pwede natin gawin is, example, sa akin, let's make it simpler. Sabi ko sa client, okay, basta, ang requirement is, okay, kasi ito masyadong complicated na eh. So, what I do is, ganito. Okay. Um, madam, as long as your lot is 200 square meters or less, okay, my rate will be around 10,000 pesos per floor. Yun na, tapos na. Oh, I have two stories, architect. I did 20,000. Tapos na. Wala nang explanation ba na uh, per square meter, ma'am, uh, kunin pa natin yung floor area mo. Masyadong hassle nga eh. But if you tell them na ganto because you already computed for your own, Oh, mas believable ka. Parang, oy expert to ah. Alam na niya yung rate niya. Uh, uh, 
Ma'am Arky, actually, two stories yung bahay ko. So, ibig sabihin ba, 20,000? Ah, no, ma'am. Pwede nating discountan yan, kahit 18 na lang. Because you already know your minimum na kaya mong gawin. Uh, okay, sa akin, etong 10,000 per floor is complete na yun. Plan, exterior, interior. Yun na. So, if the client will, uh, kunwari, two-story na, story so 20k na yan if the client will tell me Arky masyadong mahal naman ang budget ko is design pa lang ah wala pang blueprint ang design ko is like 12k 15k lang and then you can offer na ah pwede natin naman abutin yan ma'am no problem tanggalin lang natin yung interior visualization pwede natin gawin yung 15k oh kung ayaw nyo ng masyadong maraming perspective, just for the blueprint na lang, edi, pwede naman 10k. So, it's up to you na how to talk with the client. Pero sa akin, sa company, I assume na 20k ang visualization ko. So that I know also how long I will work for one project. Okay. So, after that, yun na. So, wala na. Because these are how people are rating eh. Per area, di applicable yan. Per photo, di rin applicable yan. Unless, kwan ka, real estate or you are being paid per photo. Ang clients do not pay you per picture naman eh. They pay you for the design. Uh, per scene, oh, pwede pa yan. Uh, like, one scene, maybe four photos. Living area, ganun. Per day, ikaw, bahala ka if you want to rate yourself per day, but that's, we are over that na. You are already licensed eh. So, ang gawin mo is, package mo na lang. Okay, architectural visualization, ma'am, is 20k. Tapos, kasama na, plan, plan, exterior, interior, huwag mo munang i-offer yung animation. Surprise mo na lang sila. Tapos, two revisions. Yan. Very clear yung usapan. Ganyan lang. Kasi hindi pa tayo umabot ng percentage. 75k yung una, di ba? Yung bungal bungalow pa lang yan. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, but the problem nga is, percent of construction cost, di ba? Project cost. How do you know your project cost? Kukunin mo na naman per square meter. Yun yung problema. People go straight to the cost of the building. Hindi pa sila dumadaan sa design. Parang, parang ganun ba? They just skip. Ganyan na. Eh, you do not also know the price of the building kasi yung sinasabi ng mga architects sa Facebook, pag bare finish, ganito daw. Pag standard finish, 30k daw. Pag luxury, 50k. Yung mga ganun. Eh, how will you know what is bare finish and what is luxury? May mga bahay na bare finish siya, tapos dito sa front, luxury naman. Uh, so, uh, na napaka vague. Like, tell the client na lang, let's do the design first. At least dito, alam natin yung presyo ko, yung design fee ko. Fixed na siya. For one story, alam ko yung rate ko. For two stories, alam ko yung rate ko. That's why the first thing you do is the project requirement. Yan. Kasi based sa project requirement, sa lot and mga sinasabi-sabi nila, papakita rin sila ng pictures dun, malalaman mo na kung luxury, sloping, and then you can raise your, eto, yung price mo. Tapos, pag okay na yung architectural visualization, saka ka na lang pumunta sa blueprint. Uh, blueprint. Sa draftsman, di ba? Parang 8-8 yung minimum niya. Complete set na yun. Uh, but you are already a licensed architect. So, siguro what you can do is just, uh, because your architectural visualization, eto, meron ka ng plan, na exterior ka na, may interior, very helpful siya sa architectural document mo. Kaya pwede mo tong discountan. Like for me personally, 
ang basta meron akong 3D model na complete. Yeah, two clicks lang lahat. I don't need to draw anything anymore. Siguro label lang ako. But if kunwari kulang ang visualization mo, maghihirap ka sa blueprint, pwede mo tong taasan. So, let's say ang architectural ko will be 10k. Sabihin lang natin na kunwari may mga do drawing pa ako. And then, let's say the structural two story to no. So, for the structural, maybe I could put around 5k or taasan natin 6k. And then, kasi dito yung i-drawing ko lang is yung foundation. Pa consult rin ako ng engineer or I will study the slope pa of the site. Titignan ko pa yung soil test. Yan. So, it's medyo mahal ng konti. Pero, the other things, hindi na naman natin rin na drawing yung schedules, di ba? Ine-edit lang natin yung sizes. Hmm, so, not a problem for me. Uh, next. Siguro para sa 2K for electrical. Kasi ang ang oh, two floor layout lang. And then, 2K na rin for plumbing. Uh, two floors. Ayan. So, parang ang rate ko kasi dyan is like, let's say, uh, dahil, actually, pwede ko sana tong 1.5. Pero dahil magtatrabaho, medyo hassle yung isometry, medyo hassle yung load computation, dagdagan ko na lang ng 500. Ganun. So, all in all, ayun, 20k rin yung blueprint ko. Ayan, for a two-story house, basta naka-constrain siya na two-story, residential, tapos yung lot is 200 square meters and below. Ayan. Tapos, pag tumaas naman yung lot mo, you can adjust the prices also. Or pag tumaas yung naging 3 story, dagdagan ko lang to ng 10k. Dagdagan ko rin to ng 10k, magiging 30k, 30k. Pero the problem is uh, 2 story yan, di ba? So many people when they do 2 story, minsan 2 story lang sinasabi nila. Tapos later on nagpapadagdag sila ng basement. So medyo mahal naman if I will charge them 30k. Kasi usually ang ginagawa nila sa basement is bare lang. Yun lang. So, based on the project requirements ulit, I can decide kung gagawin ko ba tong 30k. Minsan hindi na, kasama na yan, libre na yan. Ganun. Edi, wow, RT, nakapakasulit naman. Ganun. But, this will, depende kung mamaya swimming pool pala yung nandito. Edi, mas... Sa start na mismo, like, uh, you can charge an agreement for this, another one for this, or you can make this a whole agreement, tapos nakalagay na yung, basta ito lahat is design agreement. Uh, and then, ang construction agreement mo na is different. So, sige, I will show you na lang. Yeah, um, sa supervision, okay lang. Because sa design kasi, okay, if I'll summarize lang natin yung purpose ng design agreement. Because of your design agreement, tapos, sign and seal pa, dapat kilala mo na kung sino yung signatories mo kasi magkakaiba rin rates nila. Uh, so, kung sa akin, I'll charge another 30k. So, all in all, 60k. Okay. Yun, uh, kasama na. Uh, signatories, cost, POQ. Yan. So, this one, uh, I put here to, to be changed if the contractor is different. Uh, so, everything, actually, ganito, ganito siya. Lahat ng ito is for the purpose of getting the cost and the materials of the building. Yan. Tapos, saka na ang what's here? 
Ito na yung <laughs> construction. So, dahil meron ka ng design agreement na bayaran na ni client itong 60k, meron ka ng cost estimate and VOQ at dun na makikita yung cost mo per square meter. Okay. Uh, ito na yung pinaka. Okay. So, uh, one thing lang to be careful, ang per square meter natin, dalawa kasi yan eh. Building cost, and then site bed. So, ang ang mga sinasabi nila na 25k, 30k per square meter is building cost. That's why if you tell your client na 30k per square meter, madadale ka sa site development because this is the house, no? Tapos sloping palasya na ganon. Uh oh, tapos yung yung na estimate mo lang is etong dalawang floor sa taas. Paano na to? Lugi ka na. That's why pati yung open space o oh, ilang ano yung costing nito from here to here. That's that's not building cost na. Oh, so what you can do, you can check siguro. Okay, kunwari may idea ka na building cost mo is 30k per square meter. Kung gusto mo lang i-compare sa iba. And then yung site dev mo, sabihin mo, mga 12k per square meter. Oh, you can see. So, let's say, ang lumabas na building cost mo is... Okay, compute natin. Where's my calculator? Ayan. 30,000 times 80 square meters yung floor area. So, yung building mo is 2.4m. And then... Yung site mo, let's say that's 20 square meters times 12,000 is 240,000. Malaking pera din yan. Uh, so all in all, 240 plus 2.4 M is 2.64 million. Which is labor materials lang. Uh, because, kukunin mo pa yung percentage mo for Ano? OCM. Do you know OCM? Just I think. Overhead contingencies and miscellaneous. Uh, this is required for you to operate kahit malugi ka. Sabi natin 10% yan. Tapos yung profit mo. Ilang percentage ang gusto mong profit? Usually, 15% per percent. Kasi dito, mapupunta yun sa'yo eh So, parang 25 lahat Let's say 15% Okay What is 10% of 2.64? So, times 2.1 So, it's 264,000 Magkano yung profit mo? 2 264 Times Okay, ang profit mo is 396k. Ito is just for you na. So, if you want to include supervision as part of your profit, bahala ka. But, if you want to put a separate cost for supervision, you can also, magkano yung linagay mo? 1.5? 1.5? 1. 1. 5. Magkano yung supervision mo? Ilang percent? Oh, one, one. Oh, so, let's point to the 1.5. Oh, supervision mo is 40,000 lang? 39,000. Sabihin na natin 40,000. So, lugi ka. Because your supervision, actually, this will depend on how many months you will finish the work. Okay, all of these, hindi pwedeng i-decide mamaya. Lahat na ito, nadi-decide mo na while designing, sa, while listening to their project requirements pa lang, nadi-decide mo na based from your experience apprenticeship. 
habang nagde-design ka na ng plan, kino-consider mo na yung contingency. Ay, hindi pwedeng fix pala yung supervision kasi sloping yun. Ay, paano yung bako? Paano siya pupunta doon? Ay, mahal na materialis ngayon. So, lugi ka. Because 40K, tapos 8 months, o ano yung sahod mo per month, 39.6 divided by 8 months, you're just being paid 5,000 pesos a month. Sahod yun ng ano, mas mataas pa sahod ng draftsman. So, parang apprentice ulit. So, when the clients see etong supervision, nagre-react sila. Bakit may profit ka na nga? May supervision fee ka pa? Ganun. So, what? For Jen? Uh, depends. Kasi, uh, are you the one supervising or are you getting a supervisor? Uh, in the company, kinukuha nila tong profit na to. Tapos, yung supervision, ito yung sahod ni engineer. Uh, but if you are the architect and it is your project, at ikaw rin yung supervisor, merge man na to, supervision and profit, isa lang yun. Uh, lugi, lugi ang 1.5 sa supervision. Because, uh, we don't know who's going to supervise. So, let's assume na lang na kasama na sa profit mo yung pagka-supervise mo. Okay na yun, 396k for 8 months. Okay. 396 divided by 8 you're being paid 50,000 a month. Okay na yun. May, yung profit mo naman, it's used for your food, your, sarili mo naman to eh, and your, and your own work. Ikaw, ito yung profit mo. Supervision and profit. But if you are getting a different guy as a supervisor, dapat hindi sila makialam sa profit mo. Or, kukunin mo yung pera sa profit mo para pang hire ng supervisor. It depends on the contract that you will make. So, yun. Pero usually, okay na siya dito sa overhead contingencies and miscellaneous. Kasi overhead basically means the cost to operate your company. Uh, so, 264K, I, I can already hire a an apprentice for 8 months. 40k lang naman magagastos ko eh. Meron pang 200 plus. Uh, for the pamasahe, andito na. Food, andito na rin. Because, yung materials and labor dito sa building and site, eto na yung pangsahod ng mga workers, yung tubig nila. This is all for the workers. Etong nasa baba is all for you in your office. Admin, ganun. Okay, so magkano na ang total cost natin sa bahay? 2.4 million Oops. plus 240,000 sa side dev plus 264,000 for your OCN plus yung profit ng 396,000. The project of the building is now 3.3 million. Project cost na yan. But, Sa construction yan, ah, hindi kasama itong design. Nauna dapat to. Wala nang kinalaman itong 3.3M dun sa design. So, ang kulang pa dito, okay, after the project, if you still want to include, include mo na rin yung building permit fees. Pero usually, owner kasi, owner na kasi ito eh. Kasi government yung magpipi niyan. Unless processing ang ino-offer mo, de, you, pwede ka maglagay dyan ng price. And then, ano pa? Occupancy permit. Owner na rin. You can guy them. Eto, CSHP, safety officer. O, owner na rin. But, if you want to offer, uh, may ibang price na naman yung mga yan. Uh, CSHP, Kailangan may safety officer ka. May safety officer 3 ata ang kailangan. Si engineer meron. Um, other pe uh, ah, seminar lang naman. 2,000 pesos yung singil ng engineer. Yung singil ng isang architect is 5K. So, depends. Uh -oh. Kasi yung si engineer, ma madalas siya doon sa dole. 
uh, yung isang architect parang sideline niya so 2k yung babayaran niya tapos 3k sa kanya uh, so let's we, we are telling this to the owner na the cost to build your house is 3.3m but that the cost of the design is here up here 60k but the cost of your other fees is from the government is here so etong 3.3m na to lahat pupunta lang sa building hindi sa permits hindi sa design that's why madaming nag estimate nilalagay nila sa BOQ nila occupancy permit design fee which is ang hirap bang bayaran kasi naka percentage siya uh, so now you know your cost na oh uh, Okay, I will tell you, my friend na architect, ang charge niya sa design is 600 per square meter ata. Ayan, 48,000 sa kanya. Well, medyo mas mataas yung akin, 60k. But, he does not visualize like me kasi ang visualization niya is plan and its perspective lang. Yun lang. Tapos, medyo lugi rin siya kasi nag-autocad siya. I mean, like, no hate on AutoCAD, pero, oh, sige, sabihin natin, may hate on AutoCAD, pero, <laughs> pero, ma, mababa na nga singil niya, matagal niya pang gagawin. Because, pag AutoCAD siya, yung blueprint niya is, di ba, yung elevation mo is, uh, sinasabi niya naman, nag import naman siya ng SketchUp. Pero, usually, nag, line drawings pa rin sila, di ba? May edit pa rin. Tapos, kulang yung info. Like, hindi magkakatugma minsan. Unlike sa 3D model, yung sukat sa 3D, sukat na rin niya sa 2D. So, ang advantage nito ang architectural visualization, magagamit mo siya all throughout. Okay. Magagamit mo siya sa sa marketing ng client mo. Magagamit mo siya sa sa blueprint. Blueprint. Tapos, Magagamit mo siya sa construction. Not only that, you can also use it for fabrication. And then, you can use it for supervision also. And you can use it for bidding. Without doing any other extra drawings. Ito lang, kung gaan ako detailed visualization mo, kunwari yung kitchen. Gusto mo nang ipagawa yung granite. Andyan na yung square meter. Asan ba yung kitchen natin? Like, here, because uh, my classmate uh, well, yeah. uh, like this one because you have the 3D, no? Hindi lang siya nakakad. Now, uh, okay lang, no problem. CAD or sketch up, you can get the area neto. Ilang square meters ang granite, no? 2.86 square meters. Oh, ma-estimate mo na siya sa POQ yung per square meter ng granite. Plus, my sizes ka pa. But the problem is, sa CAD, you have to draw the elevations pa. Dito, oh, but ganito yung mouse ko? Oh, adjust mo lang yung view, screenshot mo siya, put dimension, and then, all throughout, magagamit mo na from design to construction. So, how confident you are in yourself, pwede mo tong taasan, yung 20k, or pwede mong ibaba. Ganun siya. Um, isang architect, let me do his blueprint. Structural electrical plumbing. 6K lang bayad sa akin. 6K lang singil ko. Structural electrical plumbing. Kasi, parang, nag-edit lang ako ng size. Yun lang. Uh, so, you can, you can charge the client 20K and you can let your apprentice do 6K. Uh, para naman may allowance siya. I di mind may iwan ka pang 14 so, you are also doing business within your own firm. Para hindi na ikaw yung magda-draft lahat. Uh, Hands-on ka lang sa architectural. Tapos, kung ano namang nasa architectural, pwede mo nang i-assign yung details. Uh, this one also, pwede nating taasan yan. Uh, you can also offer, pag three stories, mag-offer ka na rin ng soil test and topo. Ganun. 
Pero as of now, hindi mo pa natatakal to eh. Ito yung pinakahassle sa company kasi business sila eh. You know, ito kasi, etong cost na to, di ba, meron yung architect's cost. Kasi ikaw yung gumawa ng design, meron ka ng costing. Problema is, sino yung contractor? Yun yung very crucial. Pag ikaw yung contractor, sundan mo lang yung sarili mong cost. Pero, like, sa companies, sila yung nagpapanggap na contractor eh. Kaya, they're asking you to change your cost. Sometimes, they want it lower kung gusto nila ng profit sa loob ng pre-selling nila. Sometimes, they want you to make the cost higher pag may kliyente sila sa labas. Para meron na naman silang kotse, ganun. <laughs> Oo, sino yung contractor? Yan yung con- That's why I, I keep telling people real estate is overpriced. It's three times more than what you should be paying. May, yung nagbe-benefit sa loob is yung owner talaga. <laughs> oh. So, yun, you know your price na. Sabi ko kay Eliza, sabi ko, mag-offer lang kayo ng two-story basta yung lot nila is less than 200 para si Liza na yung magtatanong netong project requirements. Hindi ko na kailangan tanungin ulit. Oh. Tapos, okay, pag ganto yung lote nila, Sige, automatic 60k yan. Pero, magsingil ka ng 70. Kasi yung 10, ibibigay ko sa'yo for referral. Wow! Then, excite sila. Kasi, lugi sila sa company eh. They're 1%. Oh. So, you can do that. 350. Minimum wage. Oo. Pero, provided naman yung laptop. Kaya, I'm telling na, mag-sideline na kayo. Because, Sila yung first contact naman sa clients, di ba? 